new breed global truth mic check mic check what up what's going on brothers and sisters it's new breed coming through with another live stream we got to talk about the grammys y'all man oh man white america y'all better come and do something about this oh yeah there's a real problem performances like the one that kim petrus and sam smith did is so demonic and wicked that these are the type of shows that can cause atmospheric changes it's so overt the devil is not hiding at all the grammys is completely out of control i mean the whore of babylon is on full display um esau is on full display the idumians the blood drinkers the vampires the roman catholics uh, they on full display. The lady in red, the harlot, Edom, the tabernacles of Edom, was really showing their horns on the Grammys. I'm telling you. And um, for those who don't know, man, Kim Petras and Sam Smith are the first ever transgender and non-binary duo to win a Grammy award. So this is the new narrative, gender confusion. And for those who don't know what non-binary is, let me give you the definition because I had to look it up my damn self, right? Non-binary. Denoting having or relating to a gender identity that does not conform to traditional binary beliefs about gender which indicates that all individuals are exclusively either male or female. So they believe that you don't have to exclusively identify as male or female. You could throw out all traditional, I guess, traditional, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Definitions of your actual gender. So ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to hear this loudly and clearly. I'm making a bro, bold proclamation right now for y'all tonight. I want y'all to listen to me. I now identify as being invisible. My nouns are who and where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you see how that can come off a bit confusing? Yeah. I'm just saying, it's a wild time we living in. And if, listen, if you're allowing your children to watch these television shows and these, these programs, Lord have mercy on your eternal soul. Um, it's overt Satanism. They putting it out there right in the people's faces. It's no hose bar. And the brainwashing and programming is real. So if you want your children to grow up with any traditional values, please, please do not sit them in front of the television screen. Be careful what they're watching right now peep this man because this is something else right here now mind you some of these images for brothers and sisters that watch this particular platform this bible base um and it's conservative in nature not saying that i choose a political party but i use i literally mean the word conservative as we are more so in lines with tradition right but uh let's let's see man let's go kim petras and sam smith had an epic night at the 2023 grammys yo fair use federal law allows citizens to redistribute portions of copywritten material for the purposes of teaching edification and so forth uh what you looking up at your screen is just utter madness um the Grammys was pretty much a fellowship with the devil. 
everybody was there everybody that was in attendance they're part of the program all of your celebrities all of the the rappers everybody who was in attendance they were basically in the church of satan that night and they were getting inundated and they were getting reprogrammed and there was a lot of demonic energy that came after this particular performance and this is just uh this is nasty mind you a lot of these entities that you see on your screen they're not the gender they appear to be let's just put it that way some of these horned these these people dressed up in the horn apparel um they actually are hard-faced men you know naturally born men so you know keep that in mind and this is uh this is pathetic this is horrendous and disgusting let's continue the duo hit the stage to deliver a majorly racy performance of their hit song unholy unholy they telling you exactly what it is look the they got this transgender in a cage um there's fire all around the stage i don't know what these two things are standing next to it uh next to him her you know whatever whatever they calling it this I, I don't I don't know what's going on here, uh, but I do know that white America is getting pissed off on the right. I've seen quite a few podcasters, quite a few news broadcasts uh, talking about this Sam Smith guy. He came out with a music video approximately eight to ten days ago. And ladies and gentlemen. I didn't think that it would be possible to make a video that's worse than that one video where the, the, the dude dropped down. What's his name? Y'all know Old Town Road. Little Nas. Yeah. I didn't think there could be a music video worse than Little Nas X. But Sam Smith dropped the video like 10 days ago. And I'm telling you, you won't even listen. You won't even be able to get through it. You won't even be able to play the first 30 seconds before you turn it off. It is absolutely repulsive, ladies and gentlemen. Emotional damage. It is literally sickening. I mean, the little Nas X was pretty bad, but as you can see going into 2023, the new agers, the Satanists, they coming out full-fledged. And if Hollywood is going through all of this, to portray these images, you better believe that the most high God is real. They believe in Satan. We got to believe in our creator, the most high. Sam was seen on stage in a cage surrounded by dancers with whips. Sam rocked a bright red top hat with horns while belting out the song for the audience. And the crowd went wild for their performance. The crowd went wild. The crowd was possessed. Yo, now I just paused this video, right? There has been no visual alterations. The LGSTD is in full effect. Um, you can see this man's possessed. The whole entire crowd that was there was possessed and there was a certain frequency going on in that atmosphere. This is this is bad. Just just look at that face. They're literally cheering for this. This is what's going on in the Grammys now. My oh my, have the Grammys progressed? My oh my, no boundaries whatsoever. You know, we knew this time was coming where they would have no hose bar, it would be overt Satanism right in our faces. The arena is full of thunderous applause. The agenda is real. 
straight filth and straight trash and you know what if the right wing media outlets can cover it and they can show their disdain for this type of content and material so can i because we must never keep our mouths closed with how outraged we are that this is on mainstream television what happened to the christian fundamental values america what is going on here i'm telling you edom is showing out yeah they say that this is the first non-binary and trans people to win a grammy award and they put that as a pillar and a staple just to show you which direction they going with this up and coming year see what they don't realize is this year is going to introduce two different things to us the growth of knowledge for the saints and a mass gathering of the saints let me tell you something there's going to be a mass gathering of some sort of all righteous people this year either this year or next year it's going to happen because satan is leaving us no choice but to start to bond together simultaneously while that's happening these devils gonna be going full-fledged with the most racy um sinister depictions that they can they, they're going to be trying to inundate the public they're going to be hitting listen they're going to be hitting the ground running with a lot of these depictions that they showing the time is speeding up y'all we in some dark times right now and if you don't see this i, I just don't get how people can see the blatant demonic activity that's happening on the television and still not seek the creator still not seek the most high when these people clearly are evil they showing you what evil looks like evil is confusion i'm telling you the more they show things like this the more i want to go closer to the most high the more i'm like man this is this is sick this is literally becoming Sodom and Egypt in this place. Sodom and Gomorrah. The spirit of America is rotten to the core. And they're proving it by these type of performances on mainstream television. This is on mainstream television, y'all. Sam, thank you. You're a true angel and he that's not a woman ladies and gentlemen that's a transgender for the record yeah and sam is non-binary the other definition for non-binary is not relating to composed of or involving just two things so it goes on to say an example of that is basically i don't have to choose my gender why do I have to be composed of or involving one or two options? I can be whatever I want to be. Matter of fact, a non-binary can create their own gender technically by that logic of the definition. They can literally say, you know what? I'm going to make up my own gender. Yeah, this is the time we live in it. And this is the confusion they pushing. Sick. You ruined my life and I love you. And everyone who made the song too. I love you guys so much. I mean, it was just so blatant. The song is called Unholy. Unholy. I mean, it don't get more dark and wicked than that. Now peep this. Let me explain this to y'all. They know that the chosen ones are waking up they're gloating they're being pompous braggadocious but make no mistake about this their day is coming very soon laugh now cry later remember them scripture says that their body shall lie in the streets of sodom and egypt and it's really going to have to come to that because these people don't have no type of recourse they really don't straight abominations 
Earlier in the night, the pair won Best Pop Duo Group Performance for their hit song, Unholy. And while accepting the award, Kim was so excited to make history as the first transgender woman to win in the category. Sam graciously wanted me to accept this award because I'm the first uh, transgender woman to win this award. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Man, there's some there's some mixed group in there. I mean, everybody's in attendance. Welcome to the house of Satan. The house of the devil, the house of blasphemy. The song is called Unholy. Yo, somebody said, uh, the devil is a liar and lies are confusing. Exactly. The devil is a straight up liar. Um, Someone also says, the stuff in the dark being brought to the light, fam. It absolutely is. And they're not hiding it. They're proud to be demonic. And this is just the beginning of the year. This is just the beginning of the year. It's going to be more of this type of programming being put out there. And even in the crowd, there's a lot of um, a lot of deities roaming, a lot of spirits. Um, this is just a dark place, man. This is absolutely the house of the dead. And oh, was that Queen Latifah? Come on, sister. You even get ah. it? Look at the look of glee on Queen Latifah's face. Oh, man. This is a dream come true for the repo base. Yeah, Jay-Z, he got his hands together. Pitbull. I mean, everybody, all of the street cats, there's a day in there too. They're giving you what Satan is all about. They're so happy and together in the name of the devil. See, Queen Latifah, she done, she'd have been doing that set it off stuff for a long time. Let's let's make that clear. She been switching and hitting for a long time now. And I'm going to go ahead and go on a limb and say that if not most, all of those individuals in attendance had to do the ritual. And y'all know what ritual I'm talking about. They all had to do it. They all are part of that. I'm telling you, it's a sick place. It's a sick, sick atmosphere. Now, y'all know how I feel about people who battle with alternative lifestyles. Let me make this clear. You are welcome here on this channel. Uh, this is a safe space for everyone. And I would never I would never condemn you because I don't have the power to do that. Only God does. But what I tell people all the time is read the Holy Bible. And instead of living an unholy lifestyle, try living a holy lifestyle. And it's going to require you to change whatever you struggle with, whatever vice that you face with. But to live in sin and to marvel in it, that's a dangerous place to be. Understand that. Yeah, this Sam Smith dude is uh, atrocious, man. Absolutely demented. And, and I'm so... Who that is? Look, they getting a standing ovation. This is what they want moving forward. This is what they want moving forward in Hollywood. This behavior to be applauded. And y'all got to understand for years, rappers have been, been being incentivized for dressing a certain way, wearing fingernail paint, all of those kind of things. A lot of rappers have been incentivized for quote unquote taking on a rock star persona oh it's gonna come a point in time well you already seen some of them in dresses but it's gonna come the the rate we going with this i give it a couple years all your rappers gonna be non-binary or downright just a whole nother you know non-binary or trans yeah they they doing it this the agenda right here who this is right here she look evil as hell. Somebody come look at her. Emotional damage. She 
She looked dark. There's no white in her eyes. That's a demon. That's a whole demon right there. But you know, they're giving them a standing ovation. And I'm so Thank you. Jim also thanked Madonna as well as her mother in her emotional speech. Um, Madonna for fighting for LGBTQ rights um, so much. I don't think I could be here without Madonna. Um, my mother, um, I grew up uh, next to a highway. No, and no. Who, what is, what is going on here? Listen, <laughs> man, you know, I think that was Doja Cat. I wouldn't be surprised. They looked a lot like her. But this is, uh, yeah, this is the witches and warlocks uh, that's pretty much inundating and brainwashing your children. Um, the overt Satanism here is that is absolutely preposterous, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in white America, especially elderly people, a lot of old people who are absolutely freaking horrified at this man i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who fought for this country who sat there and went to war there's people who and i'm talking about white america right now they are absolutely mortified at this for real real talk my message to white america is if you fed up with this if this disgusts you if this makes you understand that the future of your country is going to be destroyed and the youth and those who coming up in the next generation are not going to have a limb to stand on. If you are, if you are elderly or a middle aged Caucasian person, let me, let me explain something to you. There's something that I would love to say to you. If you watching my channel right now, if you catch wind of this video, there's a message I got to tell you. The message is this until y'all do right by the children of Israel that came over here on them cargo slave ships that built your land until y'all band together and do right by those people. This will continue to go on a downward spiral. And in all sincerity, it's going to go on a downward spiral anyway. But your best benefit is to preserve yourself through all of this and get on the right side of history. Because all of the evil that you're seeing, God's chosen people are meant to rise above all of this. The last shall finish first and the first shall finish last. So get on the right side of history. Start to support God's people because you know who they are. You know just as well as I know. And nothing is going to get right until y'all do right by those people. If not, you're going to leave this into the hands of the tabernacles of Edom and they're going to continue to do this. They said it was gospel artists up in the crowd, y'all. They said that it was gospel Christian gospel artists that was in this audience. So the moral degradation is real. For real. It's getting bad out here. Yep, Tyler K, you got it right. God's army will take a stand. Man. We're in Germany, and my mother believed me that I was... A Come on, man. You need to man up, bro. <laughs> you need to man up, man. Yeah, somebody said Kurt Franklin might have been in the building. I don't know if he was or not. I just heard rumor that it was Christian artists that was there. Um, yo, the ABM channel, thanks for the $5 contribution. It says every year, it says every year, these award shows become more and more satanic, dark and blasphemous. Satan time is running out so fast he has no longer hiding. He is not hiding no more. I mean, they coming out full full blooded light should never have fellowship with darkness I'm telling you that's how you know a lot of these gospel artists don't have no light in them and i think 
that the most high is allowing us to see these type of things allow allowing us to see how they perform their rituals in the public so we can get on the right side see there's no excuse not to turn to this word not to turn to the scriptures oh yeah buster rhymes he down with the get down too y'all seen that buster rhymes down with it they all down with it until the messiah return and obliterate these individuals i'm telling you these people gonna continue to be haughty and prideful and arrogant um please do not list any other content creators in my chat please do not do that especially if you never heard me say anything about that person only content creators that get shouted out on my channel is ones that i shout out so if i see you shouting out a content creator in my chat i will time you out and that'll be your warning all right uh pamela spikner thank you for the ten dollar super sticker highly appreciate it Asa Benjamin said, Bree, did you see Madonna introduce the performance? She looked like Jigsaw from Saw, as well as the new abortion statue in NYC. Yes, sir, I did cover the new abortion statue in NYC. I definitely covered that on the channel. It's a few videos behind. Search the archives. I definitely, you know, I definitely kept gave my sentiments on that. and um i wouldn't be here without her um and her support <laughs> and everyone who believed in me um to this point um i love you so much the recording academy thank you this is a huge moment for me so you know he she he i don't know him her i don't know the now whatever i'm not gonna even waste my time with that um this person thanks the mom for raising this person as a female now i don't know if y'all been catching the news lately but um it seems that there's a lot of individuals of alternative lifestyles who are adopting children right now and there's been all kind of allegations coming out on said individuals as of late um anytime you see these individuals grow up a certain way more than likely there's some some sickness going on there there was some foul play done to them as children so you know these are the type of things that white america should be worried about we talking about white america right now this is something that um it's just unacceptable it's unacceptable all right allow us to continue Me. Now, there's another one I want to share with y'all. I think it had Buster Rhymes in it. And, you know, we, we got to go in because the Grammys was sick, man. And everybody pound the like button. If you just enter in the stream, pound the like button. Because this is what we got going on, man. And this man, Sam Smith, man, he got all kind of demonic videos and content. And I'm going to try. Well, I actually wanted to react to uh, Piers Morgan. Man, Piers Morgan, you know, he he reacted to this this whole debacle. And I think he had Sam Smith on the show after, after the performance. That's what I wanted to share with y'all. We're going to stay in the realm of this performance because that's what I titled the video, right? So let's talk about it, man. Uh, I'm going to share my screen with y'all. Right, now, Piers Morgan reacts to Sam Smith's satanic Grammys performance. Keep this. With Sam Smith's identity. Fair use. Is that last time's Grammys, uh, they, as Smith now prefers to be called, identified as Satan. Performance while many 
So he likes to be called they, but during a performance, he identified with as Satan. He identified himself as Satan. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I told y'all at the beginning of the show, I now identify with being invisible. My nouns are now who and where. All right? Yeah, that's my that's my new uh <laughs> So I, I'm a, I'm I'm a non-binary human, right? I'm invisible. Refer to me as who and where. All right. I mean, this is weird, right? This is real weird. But this is right in front of our faces, man. The devil is really coming right out, man. Use especially amongst the American uh, Christian times, in which there are two hundred and ten million. America. Sometimes it take crews and it was evil. Well, one of the scariest moments. Wow, they even said, it was, is that Madonna? Good lordy. <laughs> Emotional damage. Lord have mercy. I just can't even do this, bro. Um, <laughs> Is that Madonna, y'all? I think it is. Goodness gracious. You know, listen, these demons are truly manifesting. She looks like she crawled out of the pits of hell. Seriously, like she was in about the fifth or sixth layer of hell and crawled up out of there. Like, it's amazing how these entities actually manifest themselves. The brother says she looked like something off us. He, she literally looked like the saw mask. Damn, bro. Man, she looks like all she looks like a nightmare, bro. Hold on, let me see here. It's wild, man. Well, one of the scariest moments for me wasn't Sam Smith as a devil. It came with Madonna's general appearance. Damn, he just cooked her ass. <laughs> <laughs> He job like just cooked her just now. Seem not to have got the memo that Halloween's in October. Damn, Pierce. Pierce, you a cold boy. Oh man, I can't do this. But are they? And Smith pushing artistic boundaries or just pushing the limits of good taste. Shocking for the sake of it. Outraging because why not? It tells records. Put me now to debate all this. It's Master Rowan performs as Tripping Jupiter. Yo. Come on, son. <laughs> <sighs> I'm glad I'm not on camera right now. Cause I can't, I, I, I just can't, bro. Yo, what is going on here? Is this is is this the face of our entertainers going into 2023, 2024? Is this the face of our entertainers? Yo, man, look like a whole rotten. This man, yo, this is crazy, bro, bruh. Bruh, I can't do this. And this is what, when you're watching the Grammys, when you're watching these shows, this is what pops up. And they're making all of these songs that are just more than sexually suggestive. I don't understand how they're getting away with putting the type of music videos that they put on on the tube. I don't get. I don't understand how they get away with that. When if you put something on youtube that has the wrong shape you can get hit with sexually suggestion and some of the music videos they got it's crazy <laughs> somebody over there is cracking up in the chat man y'all something else a dc uh thanks for the 20 dollar contribution says expose them out for real man this is this is something man And the YouTuber and commentator 
Lauren Chen. So Lauren Chen, let's start with you. I mean, it's caused outrage to Sam's performance last night. You'll be quite pleased about that because quite clearly, a bit like Madonna is heroin, part of his shtick is deliberately creating outrage because it fuels interest and headlines and sells records. Yo, that's what they all about. The record execs that run these corporations, they all about public outrage, man. It is rumored, check this out. It is rumored that little Nas X ain't even a homosexual. That's what they said in the streets. A lot of you not, they said that. They said that it was a it was a producer and there was a well-known photographer who was connected with people in the industry. She claims that little Nas X was performing. He was uh, rehearsing for a show and they pulled him to the side, listen, and told him, you better gay that up some more. You better get out there and make it more, you know, effeminate or whatever the case may be. That's what they say. And listen, I don't know, but I would not doubt that a lot of these people just would do anything because they in some type of compromising position. They like the shock. They like the shock jock stuff, right? One, two, three, J. Thanks for the $10 contribution. Says Shalom, homeschool your kids. They pushing this stuff to your kids in school. They absolutely are. They pushing it in the libraries and all of that. Exactly, Abby B. I'm hearing they they G for pay. That's what they saying. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, man, but it's crazy. Right, let's see. We saying allegedly, I mean. If you ask me that this is came from a, a source, a literal source that was connected to the industry made these claims. If you ask me anybody who can slide down a pole and literally dance with the devil, he is what he is. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know. But uh, let's continue. No, you're absolutely right. And people have said that this is a controversial move by Sam Smith. This is not at all controversial within Hollywood. And I want to be clear that Sam Smith did this specifically to upset. You said this is not at all controversial in Hollywood, man. They do. This is the this is the norm of Hollywood. We just getting a close look at this thing. Bo Root, thanks for the twenty dollar contribution. Fam says, imagine if you were a dog, and that was your owner. Oh man for real dog hey, the dog probably won't even eat out that bowl getting served by that that's crazy that is crazy that the american right and christians everywhere and to virtue signal to his fellow hollywood members and elitists that don't worry, he's on your team. He hates all the things that he's supposed to hate. If he actually wanted to be controversial in hollywood what he would do is actually come out in favor of traditional values because we know that would never happen in a million wow she what she just said was groundbreaking she said if he wanted to be shocking in hollywood he would come out speaking on traditional families such as family such as you know having family wow so in hollywood that's the total norm and moving forward you're not going to be seeing too many actors and actresses that ain't playing on that side they just not gonna let them in the door no more it's gonna come a time where man we we just got to turn the tv off everybody watching youtube you hear me that's what it's getting to everybody just gonna have to watch youtube at some point bro because as soon as you turn on the tv it's gonna be satan's deception everywhere to the point where it's gonna be time to just turn the tv off you ain't gonna be able to watch nothing without them sliding the agenda in the whole listen the whole net all networks gonna be under this that's what it's going to million years or he would heaven forbid actually do something that's critical of maybe islam that would genuinely be controversial but of course because that wouldn't be popular among leftist elitists he's not going to do that this is actually in a lot of ways the safest thing or he would claim to be an israelite like kanye west now that so that's controversial Y'all want to throw Islam up? How about a man claiming to be an Israelite? Don't get too much more controversial than that, and does it? That Sam Smith could have done. Yeah, I mean, I, now, Tripping Jupiter, do I call you Tripping Jupiter or...
Manston, which one would you prefer? You can call me Manston. Manston, thank you for being on the podcast. <laughs> you can call me what? Mamster? Hold up, what did he say? You can call me Manston. Manster? Man, you got to be kidding me. Manston, thank you for being on the program. Um, this reminds me a bit of the Met, the Met Gala in New York when they all suddenly wore crucifixes one year. As a Catholic, I read a column saying, you know what? You wouldn't be doing this to the Islam uh, religion. Why would you just do it to Catholicism and to Christianity? And that reminded me again. Because Catholicism is all about that agenda. And Christianity is done. There's nobody to defend Christ anymore. And we're talking about it's done, ladies and gentlemen. It's a wrap. I mean, the church is done. I'm not saying that biblical truth is done. And I'm not saying Christ, as we remember him, isn't being uplifted in this world by certain people. But the Christian churches, they don't step up and say nothing. Let's just be clear about this. The churches are not saying nothing about none of this, bro. Nothing. It's a disaster zone in them churches. For real, we in the end times. This is the famine of the word that the Bible talks about. Flixed and Crypto, thanks for the $5 contribution, says there is no in between. Either you love the most high or Satan. I'm choosing the most high. Exactly, man. I feel you on that. Real talk. Yeah, man. When Christ come back, you right, citizen soldier. It's going to be a day that they dread every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess for real and exactly what uh, lauren said about last night yeah you can dress up as satan and prance about having a bit of devil worshiping just to deliberately outrage 63 percent of americans who are christians but given he wouldn't do that with other religions which are likely to lead to more serious repercussions for him well, it was a bit cowardly if i'm honest you know, that's an interesting way of looking at that, right? You just said that 63% of the country is Christians. But why not antagonize Muslims? That's what he's saying. Why not just antagonize Muslims? Because you know there would be some backlash if you were to disrespect Muhammad. But since you prancing around like Satan... You know that's gonna piss the Christians off. Well, listen, if we if followers of Christ make up 63% of the country, he should be afraid to do this. He should be afraid to get on stage and disrespect 63% of the country. But the reason he's not, because the true gospel ain't being preached. The true gospel ain't being preached. And these people aren't giving no backlash. They too busy lining their pockets up. They too busy trying to be a part of the secular world. They too busy, you know, capitulating to the world and being lukewarm. Real talk. And that's why I find it necessary to address these, these type of topics. And listen, let's make this clear. I'm not saying all Christians. I consider myself a Christian, a follower of Christ. My nationality is not black or African-American. I'm an Israelite. But I'm a follower of Christ, who also was an Israelite. The Bible is a book on the history of the Israelites. Right? Let us continue. I mean, I don't think there's anything cowardly about Sam Smith. And, you know, if Lauren's suggesting that they are doing this just for publicity as far as like their identity goes i mean people struggle their entire lives with identity and the fact that yeah you want to really talk about it ain't you Shh. <laughs> emotional damage how many y'all would feel comfortable with this guy giving your children story time how many of y'all okay with that nobody right why would i want anybody who seems to be confused 
to teach my child anything. I'm just saying, right? They can come to a place where they feel secure enough, to let it out in the public is a, an amazing thing and a beautiful thing and a really important thing. As far as the 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 red glitter hat with the devil horns, and I'm sorry, to say Ted Cruz. If anyone looked at Sam Smith and thinks the word evil, I think that they might frighten a little too easily. As wow, a man who called himself the devil or Satan on a stage who perform unholy see this is the thought process of the reprobates this is the thought process right here the bible says woe to those who call good evil and evil good this is crazy Somebody said, who did this man makeup? <laughs> Somebody said he looked like a rodent, man. I'm done. <laughs> man, y'all too much, man. This is just, this is hard to look at, man. This is crazy. This man got a whole Nicolas Cage face, man. What is going on here, man? As far as, as far as the Catholic Church goes, I mean, um, I can't think of a better, uh, you know, religion to criticize or to tweak or to, uh, because right because they known for molesting children. Is I mean, I mean, there's like decades and decades of of child sexual abuse that got covered up, so they don't really have a right to stand out and be outraged when no, they. No, but also decades there are decades and decades of islamic see that's exactly what was going on you know he's pierce is trying to sway the the narrative to try to somehow antagonize um uh, muslims here's the thing the reason why he went at the roman catholic church and christians number one the roman catholic church is the tabernacles of edom they are the harlots they are the people in red they are the dragon people they are the serpent seed so that was more so that performance was actually commemorating the Roman Catholic Church, if you want to be technical. Now, when it comes to the Christian church, they don't even realize that through their paganism and through the philosophies that they've been um, adhering to for many, many decades now. We're talking about all your pagan holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, all of those things. You got that from the roman catholic church the christian church in america is just a division of the roman catholic church you are the little sister you're like a sister company you are like, the christian church these days are pagans they literally celebrate everything the pagans celebrate so nobody's going to come to fight nobody's going to come and say anything about what they got going on yep yeah, Sunday worship. Um, we talking about all of it. Yo, somebody in the chat say he giving off Muppet vibes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. He do look like a Muppet, yo. Hey, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I challenge everybody in the chat to name that Muppet. Na ladies and gentlemen, name that Muppet. Let me see if y'all can come up with a good Muppet name for this dude. Because this is crazy. Mentalist terrorism. And the point that Lauren was making, I think rather powerfully, was that you wouldn't get Sam Smith mocking <laughs> Islam in the performance. Yeah, but we're here to the talk Grammys, about Because, like again, I mean, he wouldn't say it's cowardly. I'd say that is an example. Yo, for the record, these are just jokes, man. These are just jokes. Yeah, that's definitely like a fraggle. He's like a more like a fraggle. <laughs> Mr. TC said that's jawbone right there. <laughs> Listen, these are jokes, man. Brand uh, Brandy J said that's frump uh, uh what, what oh frumpus. How about frumpus? That's a good one. Cause we gotta make our own name up. This is frumpus right here. 
Because somebody said Frumpy, but a Muppet name would be like Frumpus. How about Frumpus Gold, uh, Frumpus Gold Dust Alfalfa? Yeah, Alfalfa Frumpus Gold Dust. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for the record, these are just jokes. Um, I this is not like picking on this guy, nothing like that. It's just funny. He just his appearance is funny to to us. It's all just like if a person came dressed up like a clown, right? If a person put on a clown costume, we would laugh because it the appearance is funny, right? Same thing. So it is what it is. If you easily offended, I'm sorry. We, we don't mean nothing by it, man. We just cracking jokes. His appearance is funny. The kind of gallon is because we all know he would do that. And what he did last night, I'll say the, the I think called, they, they, what they did last night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. He said what he did last night, dude whispered they. He whispered they to him, man. And he had to switch up because remember their nouns is they. Oh, man, I'm not going to go on too long with this, man. Hey, bottom line is white America, we got a real problem on our hands, man. We got a real problem on our hands. We got to do something about this. We got to clean up this cesspool. Um, Y'all need to drain the swamp. And something got to give, man, on mainstream television. That's all I'm saying. Um, it is what it is, man. I, listen, I love each and every one of y'all. Hopefully, y'all gain some edification. And listen, this is not meant to uh, sway you away from get, getting this biblical truth. Um, we just crack jokes sometimes, man. You know, it just is what it is. But listen, I love each and every one of y'all, man. I want y'all to have a blessed evening. I got more content coming. Consider following me on Patreon because you really never know where my content is going to end up going. You just never know. So consider joining me on Patreon because when the videos are not accepted here, that's where they go. All right. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a good one. Shalom and peace.